Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial for you guys on back rolls. So back rolls um, can, I think, come pretty easily if you are aware of like a few things that make them easier, so I'm going to start with that. Um, first thing is that you really need to make sure that you are bending far enough over so that your back is flat. And a lot of times when I'm seeing people um, start doing back start I see people um, learning back rolls or I'm trying to teach them they don't realize it but they're like this so then the hoops coming you know down this arm but then it has to go up and it's like it get you know you get it going kind of like behind your arm or in front or it's like down your back or whatever so um, definitely make sure you know you're looking in a mirror or something where you can like be bending flat and um, and making sure that you are like a tabletop and it helps to kind of squeeze your um your back muscles kind of tense up to like really feel how it is and extend your arms too so really um like hinge at the waist and kind of bend down um the other thing is um the kind of the momentum needed to do it so it can be kind of confusing when you're first learning because um you'll run into like kind of not knowing how fast it needs to go like whether you can just kind of like let it go really slowly or you're like throwing it or you know whatever so i would say as far as momentum goes it really is all it's going to take to get it to go across if your back is flat and you're stable is um about how much momentum it takes if you are doing like a backwards weave so it's kind of just like a matter of, you know, having that momentum built up, turning your hand and letting it just kind of roll over. You don't have to like, um, you know, throw it or like do anything kind of crazy like that. It really shouldn't take too, um, too much momentum to go across. So just be aware of that. Um, and I say the third thing is, um, hand grip and the way that you let it go. So I'll go over a couple of different ways to do that because, you know, who knows what's going to work best for you. Uh, it took me quite a while to figure out what I like to do best, but I will kind of mix it up sometimes depending on what moves I'm like coming out of or what, what I'm combining it with or whatever. So, um, oh, before, and before I do that too, I would say, what I'm going to suggest is as you're learning this, think of it, you can think of it as like right to left. <laughs> you can think of it as, um, as right to left and that'll work for a lot of you. And if not, it might help to think of it as going from front to back and looking at, instead of looking forward, looking towards your right hand or your left hand or wherever you're um, letting it go from and think of it as coming front to that. And that's how I, um, do my chest rolls because it just makes more sense to me than thinking of it going like this way so um, and that can also help by positioning your feet so that whatever leg you're turning on or whatever arm you're using to start your foot is like pointing out in that direction so you can do kind of one of these or whatever whatever works for you just kind of try different things and figure it out because um, it'll help you like refine it and get better so as far as hand grips go, um, I'm going to just go over a few and then I would say try them all and see kind of what makes sense for you um, as far as like, getting it started. So, so we're going to like lean over. Generally when I'm doing this, I'm working on a transition with like a weave or I'm like coming out of like something like that. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing something, but um, I generally will start and I'll go from right to left. So the first one I'm going to go over is um, a weave. So you want to have the hoop doing a backwards weave in your right hand and all I'm going to do is simultaneously bend over, extend my arm and become flat and then you'll see that my hand is holding the hoop like this and what it's going to do is I'm and my thumb is kind of helping the momentum with the hoop so I'm gonna go like this I'm gonna let go and the hoop is going to go across <laughs> sorry it's gonna go uh, just up my arm so 
generally my hand is kind of turning, it hits the back of my forearm, kind of like where my elbow is, and it goes up my back, um, or down my back, whatever. Because, yeah, you can also do these like that way if you're so inclined to, uh, that just takes more momentum, or like down. But anyway, um, so that's generally how I, how I do my, um, my back rolls. I start with a weave, I bend over flat, and I let it go, and then I grab with the other hand. Um, I'll get to the, to the grabbing part in a second, but I'm going to keep going with this starting. So you can do it from a backwards weave, um, and you can do it just by, I don't know, whatever. If maybe you just want to start it like this, that's fine too. I'm using the same hand motion. And you can just let it go. Really, it just takes a strong hand to get some momentum to keep going across. And it might kind of fall off around your shoulders, depending on how far you're bent down. But um, really, I'm going to, like, I can't stress this enough. The um, most important part is that your back is flat. Because if you're up, it's just going to make it harder for the hoop to go across. Um, also, well, yeah, I'll go like this. Okay, there's another one you can do. Um, you can start with the hoop, and all of these will go, they're basically the opposite for if you want to use your left hand. Um, but anyway, so you're hooping towards the inside, no matter what hand you're using. Hoop's going towards the inside of your body. And I have that L, and what I'm gonna do is bend flat, and then move my hand out here, and then the hoop is just going to kind of roll across. So I've got the hoop like this in my hand, and when I extend it, hold on, let me see if I can get this in the frame better. So when I extend it, this can also work for a chest roll too. You can just kind of let it go. It's a little more crazy, I would say. Um, there's more momentum involved, you can't slow it down, but, um, it may help you at some point, or it may just make sense for you. So, we've got this. I'm bending over, extending my arm, and it goes that way. So, I think when I, yeah, when I'm doing that, you'll notice that I have my thumb out, and then I go to here, and at that point, I put my thumb in so it comes around my wrist. So when I put my hand out like that, and it comes around my wrist, it kind of like goes up my arm like that. So it's kind of coming up here and then going on my back. So it's a little more in front versus the um, backwards weave. Um, well, that's kind of the same thing that I taught you. Um, yeah, I guess another way of doing it with the, as far as the grip goes, is thinking about it going between your thumb and your first finger. So you can start kind of the same way as you might a chest roll, but instead of leaning back, I mean, leaning forward, I'm sorry. So maybe you have it behind you, you're doing something, I don't know. And my hand is like overhand here, and I'm just gonna bend forward and it's, oh! <laughs> oh my God, okay. There we go. That one, um, so I'm just kind of going and it's coming like this and going back that way. I think that one works a little bit better for chest rolls. It can work for a back roll, but I would say if you're gonna do that, you don't want your hands to be like a T, you kind of want them out more. And what's going to do is going to kind of roll across your lower back more so. Like that. And it can kind of go up onto your other hand. I don't know if this is, let's see. There we go. So that's kind of hitting your lower back instead of your shoulders. So um, that's just another way of doing it that might work, might work for some of you guys. Um, okay, so that's all the hand kind of stuff that I can think of um, as far as starting it. So what I'm gonna move on to now is the catching part with your other hand. Um, I think when I was first learning, when I would catch it, generally, um, that doesn't happen. <laughs> generally, um, I was just kind of rolling it over and just trying anything to get it onto my arm. Because if you can get it onto your arm, like even if it's just like this or something, you can 
turn it into something else and um, kind of create your own little combo move with it. So there we go. you can just kind of start like this. You can, I think what I will tend to do is catch it and then turn it into like this kind of thing. Um, and that's a pretty easy combo to do because you just have to make sure that you get your arm around it like this, like that your arm's through it when it comes down and then you can grab it. Um, I don't, I don't get your, um, don't feel too bad about it. Don't like, if you can't, sorry, that sounded really dumb. Um, if, do not feel bad about it if you can't grab the hoop, um, especially when you're learning. I still can't most of the time. It doesn't usually just go perfectly across and I grab it. Like, um, usually it's a little more crazy than that because I'm dizzy or whatever I've done before. So I really just, you know, aim for getting your hand in it before you really try to just like be grabbing it every time. Um, I would say, what else? Um, I don't know. I think that's pretty much what I have to say about catching it. Um, it's, trust me, it's going to take a long time. I would say practice against a wall or something because it's going to, you're going to be like throwing it and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so just try and get your hand through it and then you can kind of do, um, whatever after that, whatever tends to make sense for you. So, um, anyway, I hope that tutorial helps and, you know, just remember, keep your back straight. That's really important. And, um, also keep in mind momentum and, um, when you are going to catch it with your other hand, just try to get it so that you can get your hand in there. Um, and you should be totally set. So anyway, um, good luck and thanks for watching.